Hey everybody, so one of the biggest complaints that I hear about going natural and big chopping is that there's nothing that you can do with your hair for like the first year. That is absolutely not true. I'm going to show you five different styles that I do with my teeny weeny afro, my TWA, and I hope that you guys like them enough to do it for yourself. Let's get started. So the first hairstyle starts off with spritzing the hair with plain water, adding a little bit of essential oils, and a little bit of your favorite leave-in conditioner, just to soften the hair up, make it much easier to work with, and a lot more manageable. Then you're gonna take your favorite pick and go right through the hair, all around the crown, through the top of the head and the back. Pick it all out so it's nice and fluffy. Reshape it with your hands, and this is gonna be the classic fro undefined, completely natural, and my favorite. The next hair starts off with a classic fro, add oil, your favorite leave-in conditioner, and then you're gonna take a comb and part either side of your head, whichever side you pick. It doesn't have to be neat at all. You're gonna take a little bit of Cantu coconut curling cream, at least that's what I use to add just a little bit of definition to my hair. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not crazy about definition at all. I use a little here and a little bit there. Then you take a brush. I'm gonna use a Denman brush. And you brush the top of your head. Grab your favorite gel, smooth it over. And then you grab a bobby pin just to hold it in place. And repeat the same for the side of your head. Brush it down. Use your favorite gel to smooth it out. And then you're gonna grab a bobby pin just to hold it in place. Of course, you can smooth down your baby hairs or your edges. I'm not crazy about edges, but I do it every now and then. And we're going to call this look the side part. Very cute, very adorable, and so easy to do. 10 to 15 minutes at the max. I actually asked my mom to do the same hairstyle as well. She has type three hair, and we've been doing this hair journey together. So it's been really fun with my mom side by side. And I thought it'd be cool to show a different hair type and a different hair texture with the same hairstyle. We have about the same length. So I'll take a look at her. She's going to be using a brush to fluff her hair instead of a pick. Her hair is finer than mine and it's a different curl pattern, it's a different texture. She has wavier hair, whereas mine is very tight, curly, very kinky. But she is gonna smooth down her edges and the end result is going to be fabulous just the same. And this is a side part on type three hair. My mom looks beautiful. The next hairstyle starts off with the side part. You're gonna take out all your bobby pins. You're gonna fluff the hair so that it returns to the classic fro. It's really easy to just start from that plain hairdo and work your way into something else. Next, you're going to take a comb and you're gonna part the side of your hair a bit narrower than the side part. And you're gonna do it on both sides of your head. Take a brush and brush back each side. Use your favorite gel to smooth it down. And then you're going to take a couple bobby pins, as many as you need, and pin it in place. And repeat the same process for the other side of your head. Brush it down, use your favorite gel to smooth it, and then a few bobby pins to hold it in place. And this hairstyle is called the fro hawk or the afro mohawk. I'm sure plenty of you have heard of it before, but if you haven't, it's super cute and super edgy <laughs> and very, very easy to do. Next, you're going to start with freshly washed hair, put in a little bit of essential oil, and we're gonna take a bit of gel. You're gonna grab your favorite brush. Mine is always my Denman brush. 
part the hair in small sections, I always start in the back, run a bit of gel through the hair with your fingers, and then define it with the Denman brush. This is going to be a classic defined wash and go. I do have a full length video for how I achieve this look on my TWA. You can find the link for that video in the description box. This is the finished look. A very short, a teeny weeny afro, defined wash and go. It takes 30 minutes or less. Next, starting off on freshly washed hair once again, put in your favorite essential oil, grab your leave-in conditioner, run it through your hair, take your Denman brush and brush back the perimeter of your head. Then you're gonna go through with your favorite gel and smooth all of that back. And this is not gonna be a slick back. My hair has way too much attitude and determination for me to slick it back. But you're gonna go over it with your favorite brush and then you're going to grab a headband. Once the headband is placed, you're just going to take a little bit of gel and go through and define parts of your hair, not the entire head, not like a defined wash and go, but you're just going to grab a little bit here and there, fluff the top of the hair around the headband, the crown of the head, just to make it look a little bit fuller. I like to do the back because it's the smoothest part of my hair and the easiest to do. And you're gonna just run it through. Make sure you get that nice and fluffed. You can take a pick to it, just like I do. Make it as big as possible. And then you're gonna smooth down those edges, of course. And this is the headband. It's my favorite look for something a bit more formal. I always wear this to church with my family on Sundays or out to dinner. You can also replace the headband with a bandana or a different type of headband just to make it look a little bit more casual. Pick it out and refresh it. And it's still just as cute as before. I actually asked my mother to do this hairdo as well, just to show you how it can look on a different hair type and texture once again. It still looks just as beautiful. Again, she has a type three hair that's more wavy than curly. She doesn't use a pick, she uses a brush to fluff it out. But I think we can all agree that she looks just as stunning. So I hope you guys like this video. Five different hairdos for you to do with your teeny weeny afro, your TWA. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.